Well, this is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you know, I am an active and enthusiastic participant in the International Speech Club Toastmasters. And a few weeks ago, my area governor sent me a video of our first lady speaking about her campaign to uh, help poverty-stricken areas. She calls the campaign Let's Move. And if you want more details about that, that's in the Things That Matter section of this website. But anyway. Susan said she saw the video and thought of me, which is an extreme compliment, number one. And then she said she saw me as a outspoken advocate for generational change. And I thought that I couldn't have put that any better. One very prevalent theme in my generation is, I'm going to do me and you're going to do you. Well, I think that that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a problem. Imagine if the civil rights leaders just did them. Imagine if the Panther Party just did them. Imagine if women's rights leaders just did them. They did not sacrifice everything, their lives, you know, going to jail for you to be here in 2010 talking about you're just doing you. And frankly, it's irresponsible. It's ignorant and irresponsible to be here on this earth and only concerned with you and yours. And we cannot hand that theme down to the next generation. Do you want your children and their grandchildren to live in a world where people are just doing them? It's not acceptable. And we have to set the tone. We have to show them that you don't just do you. You help out the people beside you before they need it. Before they need it, you know? Haiti was a generation, or I'm sorry, a, a, a country that needed help for generations and nobody cared or paid attention until they had hundreds of thousands of deaths that's not acceptable we have to stop doing us and help because people need our help so tomorrow when you wake up I hope that you'll be charged not to just do you but how about do your community you know do your neighborhood do an area school. Do something that helps somebody else. Don't just do you because that is so dangerous. And our children deserve far more than that. So as I always say, yes we can. There's power in one. There's power in me. There could be power in you if you should choose to believe. So, God bless and best wishes.